there, so it's 10 to 7 and I'm walking to work. Regina walking down at school. And I'm not sure if you all know I work in a school with children with severe disabilities. And for 20 years I have worked with children. And do you know, they have taught me way more than I can ever teach them. They have taught me about courage, about strength, about smiling and keeping going. So that's why when I had my illness, I have remembered those things. To keep going and keep going and keep fighting. And to appreciate the tiny things in life. I'm walking along this road and the birds are singing. And it's gorgeous. People say to me, Rhonda, you put um, a brave face on it all. But it's not a brave face. I am generally the happiest bee woman. I really am. Because I take pleasure in the small things. I remember the child inside me. I don't care what anybody thinks. I know people think she's crazy with her motorbike and her building. And I am. But I am doing what I love. And everybody must every day do one thing. It's a little crazy. So I'm walking to work, six miles each way. I'm just over, I don't know if it was COVID, you know, when you a chest infection. But my illness has taught me that I won't lie down to it. No, no, no. So yeah. So I would say to those who are struggling with mental health, I think people worry too much about what others think of them. They say, I can't do that. You know, I have to be grown up. I think every day my advice to people would be, do one thing that takes you back to your childhood. You know, I climb on the little you know the little cars you get in, you put a pound in, and I go backwards and forwards? I kind of know. Do one thing every day, because being a grown-up's hard. And I, for one, a middle-aged lady, refuse to be grown-up anymore. I would recommend it. <laughs> <laughs>